everyone, it's Rainy and Puggy here today and we'd like to show you uh, these keys. They're made of paper and they're great for a little charm or to stick on your uh, page as an embellishment. So uh, I'd like to show you how I made them. Let's begin. Now I'm using uh, digital as a base. Uh, this is from the de uh, Decorative Papers Mega Pack. Um, I'll pop links in the description box. But any coloured paper should work as long as they're the colours you like with the key. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get um, one of those uh, sheets from a napkin that you don't generally use that much. And I'm going to glue it to this paper. And press. Sorry to have a few wrinkles. Oops, it's okay to do that too. We're not using the whole sheet, so we'll just work around where we make any errors. Next, I need a little bit of gold paint. Not much though. So I'm just going to put a couple of blobs on and if we need more we can add more. I'm just going to use a tissue as a bit of a dabbing tool for my paint. Put it round in places. Let's try that. We can always add more gold at the end if we need to. Now, I'm just going to trim out the paper, so I'm taking the white edge off. I printed this on 250 GSM, so it's like a card, but it's a thin card. Now, I'm just going to fold over one end like this because some part of the key is double sided so I'm going to make a little double sided bit for that like that let's just give it a quick blast of the heat gun to dry it out completely Okay, so I'm going to trim off this double sided bit. That's going to be the toothy part of the key. And from this part, I need to cut two circles. I'm just using my one inch circle punch. So, circle one, circle two. And I need, I only need about a centimetre and a half, so I'll just cut this down a bit. And I don't think I'm going to need it more than approximately six centimetres, so I'm just going to take a, a piece like that for now. Right, on your little strip of paper, cut yourself sort of a wonky key pattern. If you struggle with this part, which I sometimes do, um, look at a key that you use like your house key or something and sort of maybe trace with a pen around it and then cut similar to that. Uh, it might take a few goes until you're happy with it but that's okay. I'm just going to now put some ink in all my little hills and valleys. Right now I need to I'm just going to line it up on my mat so it's straight to help me with this next part. I'm going to get a ruler, place it about 2mm in, and then using a pen, black pen, I'm just going to draw a line. might use a, a little um, ball tool just to that in a bit. 
And I kind of want that line to be a little thicker, so I'm just going to move the ruler over slightly and draw it again. So I end up with this. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So now it looks like that. Next I am going to take the two circles I cut out earlier. I'm going to put them white sides together and trim a flat bit on one side. Now, now is the time we figure out how big we want the key. So this one looks way too massive. So I'm going to push it in until I find where I want it to be. I'm not happy with the curve of this end, so I'm going to round that out a bit. Back, back, back. Okay, so... I really want my key to probably be no longer than that ish. So, leaving a bit on, I'm just going to trim a touch off the end. I need a little bit to overhang the inside of my key. Going to put some glue everywhere. Going to put my key toothy bit central. I'm going to use my mat to line up straight with that key, uh, straight with this line here, and then straight on the back of the key with the horizontal line. Add a bit more glue on top of that key part, and on with the top. Press. Alright, I really actually should have inked that before I put the key in it, and I forgot, so we'll do it now. Ink, 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 like that. Okay, next I need to cut two, well, I need to cut thin little slither, maybe two mil, maybe a little less. Just kind of eyeballing it at this point because what I need is a little piece that can sit on the edge of the key here. That looks about right. I'm going to, as best as I can, pop some ink on the edges. Run some glue down the edge of that key. And this on top. If it tends to cover up your little black line, use a tool to just push it back out while it's drying. Like that. Trim it off the end. Okay, and because I'm making it double sided, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Cut that one on a bit of an angle, going to try again. So 
a little better, it's still a bit angled, but I'll live with it, it's not as bad. Uh, ink, best you can. Glue. And stick. Trim. Okay. going to extra ink that now like that so now I think I want uh, a little word plate maybe on my my key uh, on these ones I cut a little sh uh, shape of this stuff out and then mounted a little uh, letter on it on these ones I again cut a little rectangle out but I um, used a pen to sort of emboss slightly the numbers into the the um, card oh sorry puggy I think what we'll do is this one because right now that's easier and I like the look so I'm going to cut a little rectangle about yay big and I'm going to round the corners so I end with something that looks a bit like that I'm going to ink it I'm going to glue it and I'm going to stick it there like that then I'm going to locate what I've done with all the little numbers okay numbers oops open sesame Yeah, just gonna trim one off. Oops. Ink. Ink. Hello, puggy. I'm inking. Oh, yes, you're a good boy. Can I finish this key? Then we do food. I need you to sit on the back of the bench. Food now? Okay, food now. Okay, so I have inked my number here. Although I'm going to just ever so slightly trim off every corner. Just a little bit. Fiddly. And trim those little corners little bit of glue and place right last Lee I need to get my hole punches my little one and my not as little one and some card I painted gold earlier, which I think is somewhere over here. Alright, so I've just painted some card with a little bit of gold on it. I'm going to punch some baby holes. And then as accurately as I can, and it's not always exact, punch over the top of those baby holes 
hopefully you'll end up with a ring that'll work. I'd only get one and it's not good. Try again. Ah, uh, it'll do. Okay, so using my little hole punch, I'm going to punch a little hole in the top of my key. Like that, a that. little bit of glue around the hole. Come on glue, there we go. And then I'm going to pop the little gold ring. Puggy, you're back. Hold on baby. Hold on baby, I've got glue. Just sit back here for a sec. Oops, just, yeah, good boy. All right, I'm you. No, no, no. You have to, you have to stay back here for a sec. I'm just gonna push Puggy. I'm gonna push Puggy. I'm just gonna push the ball tool in so it makes a little bit of a dent. I hope Puggy's not completely in the way. Come on, Puggy, out the way. Like that. I'm going to do the same on the back. A little bit of glue. Yes, Puggy, I love you. But I don't think people are here to see you. Or maybe they are here. To see. They aren't. They're not they are here to see you. They don't need to see the crafting. Okay, Puggy. Push, push, push. Hopefully you can see me doing that. And basically, there is a key. And a Puggy, which I will cuddle. Well, I show off the key. So that's that side. I could put another little word play on the back if I wanted to, or I could just leave it like that and dangle it on a journal or use it however you like. Mm, sorry, getting puggy all over the microphone. Now puggy's all over my face. All right, puggy and I would like to thank you for joining us today. Hope you have fun making some keys and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.